Hey guys. Thanks for being here. We're doing a regular old makeup video today, which I feel like it's kind of rare for me these days. I don't know. Really, I just want the opportunity to talk to you guys, update you on some stuff, relax, hang out, finally try Rare Beauty. I ordered all of this stuff literally 600 years ago. I haven't had time, you know? Our life has been weird. <laughs> All right, let's try the primer first. I usually don't like primers that much, so. All morning, I guess because I knew I was filming this video, just in my head I've had, but I gotta get my eye over something. Cute package, nice and simple. Okay, friends, life update. First life update is that Nicholas had his second back surgery, I think exactly eight days ago. Yeah, yesterday it was one week. His first surgery, remember I vlogged? I vlogged like the day I picked him up and it was outpatient. He got sent home like four hours after the surgery, which I thought was weird, but I trusted them. You know, things are different now because of COVID. And that surgery was successful for about a week or like eight or nine days or something. I can't exactly remember. The reason he had the back surgery was because he had a herniated disc and for like a year, it was just like not getting better. He tried physical therapy and tried the chiropractor and sometimes it would get a little better, but then it would come back and eventually he just like couldn't take it anymore. He couldn't look down. Like he would have this nerve pain shooting up his back. He always complained that he couldn't look down to go pee. <laughs> this is very liquidy. There's a ball in it, like a nail polish. I think I ordered this when I was a little more fair, but we'll make it twerk. What was I thinking? Yeah, yeah. So anyway, he was having all these problems. So the very first few days, the pain he was having was gone and we were like, sweet. Surgery was totally successful. And even the surgeon called me afterwards and said they removed, <laughs> removed, that he removed this like disc that had poked through his tendon and was pressing right on the nerve root. Like we were so happy. And in addition to that, what was pretty weird was that he didn't have have any pain in his back where they literally cut him open and I thought that was so strange because like I've had a few surgeries and I always wake up in horrific pain wherever they cut me like my thyroid surgery I was like you guys slit my throat and didn't give me anything for pain that's how I felt like when I woke up so I thought it was incredibly strange that he wasn't in pain I mean I was glad but it was weird and I even said in the vlog like this guy's acting like he didn't just have surgery, you know? Look at this guy sitting up like he didn't even have surgery. Well, I don't really know what happened. I don't know if he did too much because he wasn't in pain or where things went south. But one day on the eighth or ninth day, like I said, he woke up and literally could not walk without limping. And at first he was kind of just like, yeah, I think my muscles are really tight. And I knew, I knew something had gone wrong, but we both were like trying to stay positive, kind of in denial, you know? He'd go to the chiropractor and like think he kind of was and get adjusted and he would feel better for like a few hours and then it would come right back could not walk and I mean it just progressively got worse and worse and worse to the point where if we went somewhere I was pushing him in a wheelchair you know he's he was waking up at 3 a.m. almost every night in agony I would have to like put him in a big Epsom salt bath rub his leg wrap it you know put the heating pad on it I think this shade is like one shade light for me, but this foundation is pretty beautiful. Anyway, it was just towards the end of it, he was describing it as like, he only had so many steps in a day. So I remember one morning he couldn't find his wallet and he wanted to go to the gas station and get like a Red Bull. And he was so infuriated that he couldn't find his wallet because he was wasting his steps. It was so sad. His whole personality changed from like, the happy-go-lucky, silly guy that we all know and love into this like short-tempered, depressed, frustrated person. And it was just like, oh my gosh, it really, really took a toll, not only on him, but also on myself as the wife and the observer. So the surgeon finally ordered an MRI and they saw that something was compressing the nerve that was like shooting down his leg. That's where all the pain was, was in his leg. I don't know if I said that. Mostly in his calf and his ankle. Anyway, and they saw something, he just didn't know what it was. He said, it looks like it could be fluid. It could be like a hydrated disc. He speculated for a second that it could be spinal fluid. Like he was nicked in surgery or something. It was leaking spinal fluid. It was uh, stressful, but he said we won't really know until we get into the operating room and you know, figure it out. So his second surgery was scheduled for March 12th. We went ahead and took our trip to Florida. We really wanted to commemorate my friend Elizabeth who we lost last February. Everybody wanted to kind of be together and like be 
near water because she was obsessed with water in the beach and we didn't want to miss that. And Nick kind of felt like if I'm going to hurt here or there, I might as well hurt there. So we went ahead and did that. And then while we were in Florida, we got the call saying his surgery would be postponed by 10 days because the surgeon wanted to go out of town. And trust me, I get it. Okay. The surgeon needed his vacation. I would rather him go on vacation than show up like all tired and not refreshed for the surgery. But I promise you that 10 days felt like a hundred. It was just, <laughs> neither of us slept. His pain got worse and worse by the day. Like I was like, our lives are over, you know? <laughs> Finally, surgery day came. I was allowed to go with him this time, which was amazing. And he got to stay at night in the hospital. <gasps> You know what, we're going for it. He got to stay a night in the hospital, which is also amazing. I could not help but feel like I trust the doctors, okay? But I couldn't help but feel like it's so weird to send someone home four hours after spinal surgery. Like he had to hoist himself up into his truck and four hours after they cut him all the way down to his discs. They gotta do what they gotta do. But anyway, this time he woke up and his leg pain was gone and I was excited but apprehensive because his pain was also gone the first time, you know. But he was in so much more pain in his back where they cut him this time. And he was so confused. It was so cute watching him. Like, it's not funny, but it was funny because he was real loopy. He was like, this is not normal. Like, I didn't feel this pain in my back last time. And the nurse was like, honey, you were a unicorn last time. Like, you're supposed to feel pain where they cut you. And just as a side note, I ended up making a TikTok of him a day after his surgery because he was so cute. He was so obsessed with the hospital food. So freaking good though. Man likes hospital. I do it all over again just to get all the food. <laughs> Food was so good. Chicken dumplings, chicken broth, which was phenomenal. Macaroni and cheese, broccoli, bacon. They called me. They're like, how was the food? I said five out of five. Amazing. Oh my God, this is so bright. I need some bronzer. Anyway, the weirdest part about the second surgery was the surgeon came out and talked to me right afterwards. He was like, surgery went fine. And I was like, oh, thank God. And then he was like, but I didn't really find anything. And I was like, what? He's like, yeah, I was really looking for like an aha moment. Like, oh, this is what was bothering this guy. And I didn't really find anything, but I was able to decompress the nerve. And I was like, wait, <laughs> how did you decompress his nerve? But you don't know how you decompress it. Like, that's what my ears were hearing. And he just would kind of laugh and like say something vague. And I was like, what do you mean you didn't find anything? Is he going to be better? And he was like, I don't know. We'll see how he does. We'll see how he does. We'll see how he does. We'll see. We'll see how he does. We'll just, you know, we'll see how he does. So I started bawling. The cute little volunteer lady who was like in the waiting room was like, is there anything I can do? <laughs> I was like, no, I just, he can't walk and ruined our lives. He didn't find anything. But then when he came to talk to Nick, he was like, yeah, there was um some scar tissue that was stuck to the side of your nerve root. Could you not have said that to me the day before instead of making me take laps around the anxiety pool? But then he would turn around and say, but I don't think that's what was causing your symptoms. So <laughs> whatever. I don't know what it was. Neither of us understand it. I ended up recording some of what the surgeon said and like letting other people listen to it because it really wasn't making sense to me. How can you cut a person open and take something out of their back? and then be like, I don't know what I took out. He kept saying, whatever was on the MRI is not there anymore, but I don't know what it was. And I'm like, what? I need to stop harping on it. So far he's better. We're on the eighth day, no leg pain. He's just sore where they cut him. And we just have really high hopes that that part of our life is behind us. And let me tell you what kids, it made me so empathetic for people who have chronic pain. I mean, I'm, I'm a pretty empathetic person regardless, but I really saw firsthand like how terrible it is to have chronic pain. It's just, oh. It's been rough. Thank goodness that I had gotten so much better with my gallbladder issues right around the time that this all happened. Cause if we had both been like incapacitated, I can only imagine how bad that would have been. So that was a blessing. That liver flush was a blessing. I'm about to do a second one. I had everything all ready and I had my like plant-based meal prep all ready. And then I realized that I was about to start my cycle. You're not supposed to do the flush during your cycle cause your body can only like detox so much at one time, allegedly. I know that this looks a little cray cray with this cream bronzer, but I kind of love it. <laughs> so long story, longest story ever. That's kind of why I've been slacking on my content. I don't know which blush I want to try, by the way. These are both intriguing me. Let's do one on each cheek. This is the Stay Vulnerable Melting Blush. Oh my God. 
Oh my gosh, this is all so cute. It matches my aesthetic. Do you like my Angelica? I want it. I got it. I want it. I got it. I want it. I got it. This color is called Nearly Neutral. Oh my god. Oh my god, yes. It's so beautiful. What happened? I don't know what happened there. Y'all, I have no complaints so far about this brand. Like everything is so beautiful. I'm gonna try this blush too. The Soft Pinch Matte Liquid Blush in the shade Bliss. This is so cute. So in addition to all of that debacle, I also just kind of felt for a second like social media was kind of getting to me. You know, I have like phases like that. Whoa, this one's a little more powerful. I have phases like that where I'll get kind of down about one thing thing or another. This time in particular, I had a bad experience with another YouTuber. It wasn't the end of the world. It wasn't like anybody was like insanely mean to me or anything. It's just, you know, when you kind of look up to somebody and you have one view of them, like maybe it's someone you watch or something on YouTube, think of them one way and then, and then you finally interact with them and they're just not who you thought they were. I just kind of like had stuff, something like that happen. Wait, where's my palette? I'm obsessed with this eyeshadow palette. I want to show you guys. This Physicians Formula eyeshadow palette, the shadows are just so, it's called the Tropical Days palette. The shadows are just so buttery and they're not fallouty and it smells really good. I feel like I'm on board with the scent now. I used to kind of not like it and I just like can't stop using these two. What was I saying? Yeah so anyway when something like that happens like I said it's not the end of the world but it just like gets my wheels kind of turning because as a YouTuber, I've always kind of wished that I had a friend who did the same thing I do. Like I live in Missouri. I don't really know anybody here who does this for a living. Um, apart from Kalel, I don't know if you guys know Kalel, but she just moved back. We finally got to hang out once, but she's been living in LA for like a hundred years. So, you know, oftentimes YouTubers don't have any friends who do what they do. So anyway, I'm, I always kind of feel like I'm kind of looking for like, some camaraderie in the community <laughs> especially if it's someone i watch that i really feel like i vibe with you know a lot of times you watch someone for a long time and you can tell by like things they say and how they react to things and their humor you're like me and you would be friends you know you guys say it to me a lot so i know you probably kind of know how I feel. So it's a little disheartening when you feel that way about someone, you kind of reach out to them and they're just not the kindest to you. I got all bent out of shape and was like, why am I, this industry is so petty and shallow and everybody just, if they can't gain something from you, they don't want to be your friend and I got all negative. But the reality is that's not the case. I just, I had one little bad experience, but I've moved on. It was just one of those things, you know, every now and then something happens where I'm like, do I want to be in this community? When that guy called me a beige, a beige Becky. <laughs> I know I like just did my makeup exactly like this in a video recently, but I really loved it. So I'm gonna use this LC, what is this called? The Jewels, LC Cosmetics Jewels in the shade Pearl. It's so glorious. It's like the most, it's like a powder, but not. It's like a powder cream something and it's so, it would be so pretty on a bride. <gasps> So anywho guys, I'm sorry to be such a negative Nancy. I just kind of wanted to explain why my content is slacking yet again. I still, I still have hopes and dreams of becoming just so on fleek with my upload schedule. Like I know one day, gonna be back to putting out two videos a week. I saw the funniest TikTok and I, I only saw it once so I, I can't think of the girl's name but if I can find it, I will post it. But it was cute. She was like the life of a content creator. Oops. <laughs> Selena. I gotta get my out Selena. Let's just pretend her name was Leslie. So she introduced herself and was like, hi, I'm Leslie, welcome to my channel. And then it would cut over to like her adjusting the light and was like, hi, I'm Leslie, I'm Leslie's lighting person. And then it would cut to her at a computer and she'd be like, hi, I'm Leslie, I'm Leslie's editor. <laughs> it took me a second to get it and then I realized like, oh, she's joking about the fact that if you're a content creator, you know, you're doing all of the above. You're not just the talent, you're the producer and the script super supervisor and the editor and the lighting person and and obviously all those things are super fun and I wouldn't rather do anything else but it contributes to why I can't post videos and then I thought the solution was hiring an editor I was like no. 
I'm gonna hire an editor, I'm gonna find one I like. I found one I loved, I thought she was so funny. She had great comedic timing. In fact, hers is like better than mine. Like I felt like she was making my videos funnier than they were. But an editor's tricky because for one, oftentimes they charge, they charge like half of what I make off a video, which is not a big deal to me. I'm like, well, if I can put out more then you know, maybe it'll equal itself out. But then there's this other factor of like getting the raw footage to an editor. Talked to you guys about this before, but I don't understand how people do this. I remember uploading some raw footage to a Dropbox to try and get like my editor to get the footage and it said it was going to take 26 hours just to get her the footage and I, <laughs> I literally went ahead and tried it. I like changed my settings and I kept moving my mouse every few hours and I was like, we're doing this. I'm getting this footage to this editor. <laughs> and then before I knew it, it had like stopped uploading or there was an error or it said upload failed. And I was like, okay, okay. So I'll pre-edit all the footage and get it all condensed into one file. Then then send it to her and that should only take like six hours to upload to Dropbox or Google Drive. But then I'm sitting there editing the video myself to send to an editor and I was like this is creating more work for me. So I just have no idea what to do that. And there were also some complaints about when I hired an editor. Like a lot of my viewers definitely picked up on the fact that it wasn't me who had done the editing and people said it was too much. And so I don't know, I've just, right now I'm doing everything myself. If I think of a solution or if you guys have a solution, let me know. I always love your suggestions. You guys always know more than me about stuff. Foundation is looking pretty good so far. Maybe a little textury but still cute. Oh, oh, the liquid luminizer. Hold up, I'm not doing brows yet, I'm doing this. Oh my God. This looks so promising. Let's do two dots for now. Ooh, it's so subtle. Like the more you tap it out, the more it kind of fades away. It fades away. Yo. Kind of faded away too much. Hops we need a bit more. I don't know, subtle is good. I'm like kind of, I gravitate towards more subtle highlighters these days, if any. That's soup's pretty. I really like the tone of this, but it's not my favorite formula just yet. I need to learn how to work with it a little better. Like maybe watch how Selena says to apply it. I don't know, I tend to just slap stuff on my face, you know? Hey, so uh, on a lighter note, I want more of this blush because it's so beautiful. <laughs> On a lighter note, guys, uh, I am still doing great with my keeping my gallbladder journey. Let's try the liquid lippies. Oh wait, a balm? Oh, I have a balm and a lip cream. Okay, okay, okay. Let's line them first. Let's get my totally toffee. Yes. I can't survive without totally toffee. Hey, by the way, friends, I've been lining my lips differently and it has been like kind of a game changer for me. So I watched this video by this girl named Snitchery. Yes. And it was all about how like you should line your lips to fit your face shape. And I don't remember everything she said, but what I took away from it was the goal shouldn't necessarily be to widen your lips. Most people who want fuller lips want them taller. And I was like, Oh my God, she's so right. Like my lips are full, but they used to kind of be like that. So I overdraw the top a little. Oops, like kind of aggressively at first. Then I don't overdraw the side. And then she did not say to do this, but I have been doing it. I take like an eyeshadow brush and just, you know, blend it a little. And normally I go over it with like a lip stick, but today I'm using a liquid lip. So let's see, Rare Beauty. If you impress me with this, I'm gonna be like crazy impressed because I don't like liquid lipsticks that much. I love the pack. I love all the packaging. Mmm. <laughs> That's not the color I was hoping for. Yeah, I'm going over that liner. Um, I'm kind of obsessed with that formula. I don't know what's happening. Do I like everything? <laughs> By the way, side note, since this is a video where I'm actually talking about makeup, this mascara from Sigma, it's called the Sinuosity Lash. Sinuosity, I don't know what that word means. I need a dictionary. Oh, this mascara is so insanely good. And I remember talking about it like three years ago when I would do like monthly favorites videos. This liquid lipstick formula is so good. Uh, hey, I just thought something else I wanna tell you guys. Oh my God, what am I doing? What did I just do? What what did I just do? I messed everything up. <laughs> I'll be right back. Hey, so on another lighter note, you guys, I have I have some cool stuff to tell you. I am like 80% sure that 
we're having a new house built, which has been very spur of the moment. It's a long story. However, I was wondering what you guys thought about like me vlogging the process. I kind of like watching stuff like that and I think it could be fun, but I'm always torn on if I should keep everything on this channel that I've like spent years kind of growing or if I should do my vlogs and stuff on like a separate channel. Every time I ask, the opinions seem to be split. It's probably silly of me to ask and I should just make a decision, but ultimately I just want to know would you be interested in seeing that? You know what's kind of exciting is Nick has been seriously considering starting his own YouTube channel too, finally. And I'm so excited because kind of like what I was saying earlier about like wishing I had friends who did this. If my husband did this, oh my gosh. I could relate to that on another level. There's so many things about this job that people just don't realize and don't think of. And when Kalel was at my house a couple weeks ago, we were talking about it. And by the way, she made me feel so much better about my upload schedule. She's been doing it for 12 years, you know? And she was like, one video a week is not bad. Why are you beating yourself up over that? And I was like, I don't know. I just want to be like the other kids, you know? But anyway, back to what I was saying, I think it would give him a whole new perspective on what I do. And I think it would be so fun to kind of work on someone else's videos. Like I would love to film and edit and help him create his videos and not be the one on camera, you know? It, that would be a fun change. Anyway, we've always talked about it, literally since like day one of doing stuff together, doing music together, just being like one of those couples who vlogs, you know? And hopefully now that he's healed, we can actually like get a little more excited about it and really get going on the possibility, you know? He herniated his disc last March. It was hard for him to get excited about anything because he was literally in agony all the time. But now I'm still a little apprehensive, but we both kind of feel like maybe maybe that's all behind us now I do like this formula of this lip product but I think it's a little dark for how I'm feeling today so I'm just gonna do a little of my Sam Marcel all I really really need is a little bit you know I gave you that whole spiel about making your lips look better and I feel like I made mine look too big so now that I've talked about everything under the Sun rare beauty so far is a yes for me apart from maybe the foundation it's not a bad foundation there's nothing bad it's just I've been really into the cosmetic CC cream lately which is really like creamy and like kind of thick and I kind of feel like sometimes thicker foundations conceal my texture a little more that's why I love Maybelline Superstay so much so this is thin and lightweight and it kind of looks like skin it's just I don't know I wish it were more smoothing other than that um I liked everything I even liked the liquid lipstick which is rare this was fun I feel like I got so much off my chest <laughs> thanks for being here friends and listening to me vent I again I didn't mean to be negative Nancy I just wanted to let you know what was going on. <laughs> say whatever you wanna say down below and I'll catch you guys on the flip side. Did you guys hear that Ariana Grande is gonna be a judge on The Voice? So now I have to start watching The Voice. I am still so obsessed with these sweet eyelash, little halvesies lashes I got from YesStyle. <laughs> I'm really sad because I'm on my last pair and I forgot to order more. So I'm gonna have to wait like a month. Is my mic on? <laughs> I messed up the eyelashes. You know, I don't know what it is, but I don't feel that cute today. 